here are our supplies for our snowflake magnets. We have some tin foil, three popsicle sticks, and a little piece of adhesive magnet. These come in a roll, so you might want to flatten it out while you're making your craft. Maybe put it under a book so that it kind of pushes it down. Um, we won't be using it for a little while yet, so you've got some time to flatten it out. Another option is to make it a smaller piece. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out a piece of foil so we can wrap our popsicle sticks. And you're going to kind of wrap it like a present, but notice that there are two sides to the foil, of course. Uh, one side is kind of rough or burnished, and the other side is, is reflective and shiny. I'm going to opt for the shiny side on mine, so I'm going to roll it up so that the shiny side is out, but you can do it either way. In fact, the glue might stick better to the not shiny side. And then... I didn't cut it to size, so I cut it after I rolled it and then fold it over so that all of the rough sides are on the same side. And then I'm going to wrap the other two popsicle sticks and I'll see, and you, I'll back see you back here. here. All right, so our popsicle sticks are all covered and I've got my magnet here and the cotton balls and we're going to be making a six-sided snowflake because all snowflakes are six-sided, even though they're often drawn with eight sides. They all have six, six points, six sides. Uh, put a little dab of glue on each end of each popsicle, popsicle stick, and then we'll put a cotton ball on each end, and you can fluff them up. The ones we're using are actually really tightly woven, but just pull them apart a little bit, and just like this, and some of them might come apart, and that's okay, but stick it carefully to the glue and you know foil is a non-stick surface it's something that we use in cooking so that things don't stick so just remember that sometimes the glue doesn't stick as well and if you are having trouble with getting things to stay stuck to your foil hot glue is definitely an option tacky glue can also work um, if you're doing this with kids Obviously, grown-ups, you need to do the hot glue, and if you use tacky glue with kids, it is washable, but it does take much longer to dry, so just keep those things in mind. You know your kids. You know uh, what they need, and sometimes they need things to go faster, and sometimes they need it to be just right on the first try, so use the supply, the glue that will work best for your kiddos in your situation. And then once all of the cotton balls are glued on, then we will glue the popsicle sticks together in the center uh, so that we have a snowflake. So you'll make an X and press it down really good. It's okay if it squishes out, of course, because it's going to dry clear. And then the same thing in the center of that one and then have it go straight up and down. And of course you can glue these in any order you want. The point is that it's a six-sided snowflake. The last cotton ball goes in the very center and you can fluff that one out a little bit. I also think it might be really fun to add some glitter to this project. I didn't include it because that would just be a messy nightmare for everyone at the library and in your homes but if you have some glitter or some spray glitter or uh, even glitter glue you could decorate these with some glitter and that would be really fun um, I will see you in a few minutes and we'll put the magnet on hello again so while we're waiting for the snowflake to dry because school glue dries pretty quickly but not super fast and we want it to have a chance to actually cure pretty well. Uh, I just wanted to check in and let you know that I'm so excited about the February crafts. This is probably the simplest, least holiday oriented one of the bunch, uh, but there will be a new craft every Wednesday as well as uh, next Tuesday, the 9th and February 23rd. Also, we will have um, 
Zoom and Create Crafts. Now we haven't had a lot of response to the live virtual anything except for live virtual story time, which is going really well. Um, so if you are interested in a live virtual class to make some of these crafts, then by all means let me know and I'd be happy to Zoom with you. Um, but we will, I will have the craft upstairs and it'll be a first come first serve basis and then uh, I'll have a video up on the day that that craft is released. So this one will um, obviously be up on the website starting today, Wednesday, February 3rd. And uh, the next one will be up there next Tuesday. And if you are interested in the crafts, please pop in the library on Tuesdays or Wednesdays and pick up those crafts. They do tend to go pretty fast. So I grab one of those. And there are just a few of the last postcards left. Um, and they were really fun, the Zentangle postcards. And of course, you can do whatever you'd like with them, but uh, they come with a metallic marker and two dual ended markers. Uh, so you can make some pretty cool stuff with them. Uh, so, anyway, I will see you again shortly when our magnet, our snowflake, is ready for its magnet. All right, so the, the glue is almost completely dry, not quite. This is what it looks like on the other side, kind of fluffy snow. Oh, look at that. Some of the glue absorbed too much into my cotton ball and didn't say stuck on. And that actually can happen with any kind of glue with cotton balls. So just be aware, especially if you've got a kiddo that um, is easily frustrated by things like that. So if you need to use a different kind of glue or hot glue uh, to avoid that, then by all means do that. Um, here is your piece of magnet may be too long. You may feel like it's too long. I'm going to go ahead and stick this whole magnet on here. And look forward to spring. It'll be fun to have a snowflake on the fridge. So enjoy. And next week, we are going to have two crafts, one on Tuesday which is little love birds made out of pine cones. They're super, super cute. And, um, and then on Wednesday, there will be another uh, winter craft with pine cones. This one, we're going to make pine cone bird feeders. So it'll involve some peanut butter and bird seed and um, some string to hang it up. So it's a lot of fun. Super easy, super fun. Have a super week. I'll see you later.